If you've been a forex trader for a while, you would for sure know that the market is moved by the institutions. And today I want to share with you this amazing strategy that will allow you to see the footprints of the institutions and how they move the market. And using those footprints, we can also take advantage of the moves that are made by the institutions and we can ride along those moves. This strategy includes the understanding and trading of the order blocks. First of all, let's understand what are order blocks. Order blocks in Forex refer to the collection of orders of big banks and institutions in Forex trading. So the focus word is big banks and institutions because as we all know, big banks and institutions move the market because they deal with Godzilla size amounts in billions of dollars. So whenever the banks and institutions want to place order, they cannot just go into the market and place a simple buy or sell order in a single trade. They have to divide those orders into chunks because of the unavailability of the market. And if, let's say, if a certain bank A wants to buy 500 million euros, okay, so at a certain time, let's say only 200 million is being sold. So when they want to buy 500 million euros and only 200 million are available, they can't just buy these orders out of nowhere because of the issue of liquidity. So what they'll do is they will divide this 500 million euros into small chunks of let's say 20 million euros. And they will place these 20 million euros orders or chunks at different places in the market at, at the best prices that will be available. Because at a certain time, when they wanted to buy 500 million euros, only 200 million were available. So even if they buy 200 million, all the available in the market, they will disturb the market and that will also not be in their favor. So they divide these orders into small chunks where they get the best prices available for their orders. And there is a technical way to detect the order blocks in on the chart, which I'm going to show you right now. So if we go towards chart, as I said, there's a technical way we can detect order blocks in the chart. And as we know that order blocks are created because of the ranging markets or the chunks of orders that are placed by the institutions inside a ranging market. So in order to detect the order block, there are two key points that you want to pay attention to. First of all, there should be a very impulsive move in either bullish or bearish direction depending upon the type of order block. For example, here you can see that there's a very big impulsive move in the bearish direction and all the candles in this impulsive move are bearish. Which, say, which shows us that there is a very strong move by the sellers. And before this impulsive move, the second point is that there should be a ranging market structure as we can see represented by this candle. At lower time frame, this candle will be representing a ranging market structure like this. And this impulsive move, as we can see here, will be represented by the very impulsive candles in the bearish direction. So. This area that is forming here inside this candle is the order block zone that we want to detect. So once you pay attention to do th these two key points that first of all, there should be a very impulsive move in either bearish or bullish direction. And then before that impulsive move, there should be a ranging market structure. And this candle has to be bullish. And as you can see here, this candle is bullish. So our order block zone can be drawn at the high and low of this candle. So this is how you successfully detect the order block zone. Detecting the order block zone can be a little cumbersome or a little difficult. And there's a special way you can do that. And you can use the order blocks indicator. If I just go here and apply the indicator to the chart, the indicator will automatically detect these order block zones for you. Now, as you can see here, as soon as the order block zone formed, the indicator showed us that there is a formation of this order block. So we get notified at the close of this candle, we get notified that there is an order block in the market. And now we can go ahead and place our trade or look for trade at this order block zone. So this is what's beautiful about this indicator that it detects the order block zones in real time. I'll put the indicator link in the description. If you're interested, please make sure to check that out. Now let me go ahead and share with you the strategy that you want to use in order for trading the order block zones. So here you can see that there is the formation of this order block. Now, once the order block zone is formed, the psychology is that after this impulsive move and after we have drawn our order block here, the market will come back in order to pick the 
pending orders that are placed inside this ranging area or inside this ranging market structure before this impulsive move. So there is some liquidity, still liquidity available that market will come back in order to pick. And then after that, uh, we'll be waiting for market to hit or take profit. So once the market reaches back this auto block zone, we can look for any confirmation candle. It could be a bearish pin bar or a in inside bar or engulfing candle. So as you can see here, in this case, there's a formation of this inside bar candle. And with this inside bar, the breakout on the next panel is in bearish direction so this shows us that the market is definitely headed in the bearish direction so what we can do is we can put our entry at the close of this panel here and we can put our stop loss at the above this bearish inside bar panel so we can go ahead and take a short position here and we can put our entry at the close of this panel and we can put our stop loss at this inside bar okay and now we can wait for the market to hit our take profit level so if i just zoom out we can see that first of all at one ratio one ratio ratio we want to break even the trade and we want to move, move our stop loss at our entry price and after we do that will be trade our trade will be break even and will not be taking any losses so now as you can see here the one ratio one ratio ratio has been met so we'll break even the trade here and we can wait for uh, we can wait for the market to show us the bullish reversal and we can use multiple strategies for that and here we can see that the market did retrace back a little but it keeps going in the bearish direction so we can use any strategy to take profit the trade usually i take profit at 2.5 or 3 restore ratio as you can see here if i just go down this market did go at 3 restore ratio so this is how you can trade this bearish order block now let's look at another example of how by using this order box indicator you can take the auto block zones trades and here you can see there's another example there's a formation of this auto block and after the formation of this auto block the market came back in order to pick this pending order at this auto block here so if i just move back the market backward a little you can see that there is the formation of again this bearish auto block and market is going backwards toward this auto block in order to pick the order so with the formation of this pin bar and this inside bar we are sure that the market is has picked the order and now it will be headed in the bearish direction so we, we can again open a position at the close of this candle here and we can put our stop loss at either this above this inside bar or above the high of this bearish order block zone and we can wait for market to go in profit and move downward so that we'll be able to take profit now let me go ahead and show you how you can use the bullish order block to trade the auto block zones. So here you can see that there is a formation of a bullish order block and this order block is detected because there is an impulsive move in the bullish direction and before it there is this red candle which shows the ranging market structure at lower time frame. So there this is uh, definitely a formation of order block here and the order block indicator has also detected this bullish order block and notified it with this label so we can wait for the market to come back to this order block zone which happens at almost here so let me just go zoom out a little bit and here you can see that the market did come back in order to pick the pending orders at this order block and then the market moved in the bullish direction and this is where we will be waiting for break even or take profit of our trades if i just go ahead and move the market a little bit backward we can see that we can see that the order block formed here and the market came back in order to pick the orders at this order block at this candle here and with the formation of this bullish pin bar we are sure that the market the buyers are strong and the market will move in the bullish direction and even on this order block we can see there is the formation of this order block and market came back in order to pick the orders from this order block here and then it is giving us this bullish move so market also does move from one order block to another order block as this or block this all our block could be a part of a bigger order block zone that would be at some higher time frame because right now i'm at 15 minute time frame so this is how you can use the order block zones and order blocks indicator in order to take advantage of the institutional activities in the market and how you can leverage those institutional activities to your advantage i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you